With that, I'm going to bring up our first user, Jack Wu from IGE, Engineering Manager. He's going to tell us what they're doing with OpenStack. This is one of the largest video sites in China, similar to a Hulu or YouTube. Massive, massive uh, infrastructure. So come on up, Jack Wu. Tell us what you're doing with OpenStack. Hi, thank you, Mark. OK, good morning, everyone. I'm uh, Jack from uh, IGE. I will take several minutes to share OpenStack in IG. Um, before that, I will take, uh, let me talk a little bit about uh, IG. So IG is uh, China's online video companies, which was founded by Baidu. And uh, the website launched in 2010, and it's focused on the four licensed high-definition video contents like uh, Hulu and YouTube um, in America. So we also have a strong uh, in-house content teams to produce the uh, differentiating content and uh, the entertainment news. Uh, the graph shown here is our website. And uh, the data on the left, left, left side is uh, monthly unique visitors. It's an uh, uh, important uh, criteria to evaluating the online video company. So currently, the data is about 360 million. 360 million. Uh, it's about one third of the YouTubes. Okay, one year ago, we are evaluating the computing result, computing service. Uh, so why OpenStack? I list several highlights here. The first one is the control and the flexibility. So the, uh, it's uh, here us uh, to easily integrating the legacy code and the third party uh, technologies. So next one is the community support. The third one is the flexible technologies. It's uh, important for us to uh, integrating the different virtualizations to solve the different problems. The last one is the cost effectiveness. Since we are, uh, we are uh, startup companies, and uh, uh, cost is really important for us. So after one year's operation, oper operation and the development on OpenStack, uh, OpenStack have uh, provided, uh, sustained almost all the infrastructures of the IGE with the scalable IT capabilities. Uh, currently, we have several data centers. And in each data center, we set up one or two OpenStack clusters. And we set up a unified dashboard to control all the virtual machines across the different database and the different clusters. So currently, OpenStack manages uh, hundreds of servers and uh, uh, thousands of the virtual machines. Uh, OpenStack in IC providing the two parts of the service. One is the computing resource, the other is the object storage. So based on the OpenStack, we set up a service cloud. And uh, the service cloud supported the distributed database and the message queues and all the computing frameworks such as Hadoop. And upon the, uh, upon the service cloud is our key business applications such as the search engines, uh, recommendation systems, uh, etc. The so cross data, data centers, uh, computing resource, and uh, distributed object storage keep our application much more robust. OK, so in order to minimize our operational efforts, so we set up several systems to co-work with OpenStack. Uh, the first one is the management systems. It's uh, uh, provide a unified entries to manage the virtual machines, life cycles, and check the OpenStack functionalities. And although we can review the computing resource statistic. The next one is ticket systems to so, uh, review the customer requirements. And uh, the third one is the audit systems. And it uh, help our management to, uh, uh, to check where, to identify where, uh, to identify the area where to cut and uh, uh, achieve the profit. This, the first one is the monitor. We are based on the uh, Zabbix. It's an open source project. The last one is the deploy systems. And uh, we extend the puppet to support the authority control process. OK, this is uh, our uh, OpenStack using models in IGE. It's a mixing architecture. So what I call this mixing since uh, uh, virtualization is uh, divided the servers into the different uh, 
uh, virtual machines. And uh, OpenStack hiding the virtual machines management and uh, provided the resource to the resource framework. We are using the Mesos, and Mesos uh, provided the computing resource to a different high level computing framework, such as Hadoop, Spark, and some self defined uh, uh, architect, uh, framework, such as Transcodings. So, two, two months ago, we are set up uh, this, this, this framework, and uh, uh, it leveraged all the CPU resource from our code storage clusters. And till now, it's about uh, 8 million task, transcoding tasks has been finished on this mixing architecture. So it's important for us to uh, set up this uh, elastic computing pools uh, since we can uh, provide our resource uh, to the different computing framework, different applications based on business priorities. And although this computing pools is really uh, flexible, to scale since it's uh, 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 operation of the integrations uh, uh, versus supported the virtual machines and the servers seamlessly. Okay, at the end of the speech, I will share a de demo videos. It's about uh, multi-screen interactions, okay. Okay, so that's all. Thank you for your time. Great. Thank you. Thank you for that presentation. So that's pretty incredible to me if you think about hundreds of millions of people every month watching this premium video content throughout China and they're relying on OpenStack to do it. And I think we heard yesterday that uh, if you're into Modern Family or today, I believe they were uh, showing Two Broke Girls. So whatever your, your taste is in TV, it's probably powered by OpenStack which is pretty incredible. <laughs>